For the first time in 58 years, the USS Cod Submarine began its departure out of Cleveland, but not before coming into contact with the U.S. Coast Guard boat. Thank you for checking out History X. For those of you that are fascinated by World War II submarines, there is only one in existence that remains completely intact. That submarine is the USS Cod, and it's been a fixture on the waterfront in Cleveland since 1976. But if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Ken Stano, and I am a World War II historian, mechanical engineer, and pilot. Now, there are several World War II era U.S. submarines on display across the country, but the USS Cod is the only one to remain completely intact. In other words, the hull hasn't been cut into to add entryways for tourists. No ladders have been replaced by stairs. You get the idea. This submarine remains exactly as it was when it patrolled the Pacific against the Japanese over 75 years ago. The USS Cod is a Gato-class submarine and was a veteran of seven war patrols from 1943 to 1945, sinking 12 enemy vessels, surviving multiple depth charge attacks, and earning seven battle stars. This World War II submarine has been an in-water display since 1976. That's 45 years. In fact, it's been nearly 58 years since the USS Cod has seen a dry dock. So it was overdue for some much needed maintenance. Just last week, it was headed out to sea on its way to a shipbuilding yard in Erie, Pennsylvania to receive that maintenance when the unthinkable happened. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. That's it. Now, damage to the Coast Guard ship, the icebreaker Morro Bay, was minimal. But the nightmare didn't end there. The tugs then backed the submarine into the pier. Now, the Coast Guard has said an investigation would determine the extent of the damage, but thankfully, it appears to be superficial. The USS Cod did eventually make it out into open water to begin the 100-mile journey to dry dock. It arrived in Erie, Pennsylvania at approximately 1.30 in the morning. In the next video, we will see the USS Cod in dry dock, probably the last time any of us will ever see a World War II-era submarine in dry dock. Ever. Therefore, if you would like to support the nonprofit USS Cod Submarine Memorial, please visit USSCOD.org. In fact, I'll have a link to that site in the description below. And of course, if you enjoy World War II restoration stories like the USS Cod, then please consider subscribing. My name is Ken Stano. Thank you for checking out History X.